Hey, what's going on, man? It's Jay Good at StraightOutTheDen.com. I'm on the line right now with The Concept, man. How you doing? Doing pretty good, man. What's up with y'all? Uh, man, we're good over here, man. Hey, uh, thanks for calling in. Um, you know, I, I heard the, the project, um, The Orange Soda, the uh, 90 Minutes EP. I mean, not not 90 Minutes, the, uh, the 90s EP. And, and yeah, yeah. you know, after I heard it, man, I, I had to get on the line with you. Um it's one of those projects for me anyway it, it kind of took me back because um you know i remember those times you know what i mean like yeah, living during yeah. the 90s um you know uh, what definitely. yeah yeah like what inspired the, the project itself well um i've been like i, I, I guess i got a, i got a couple mixtapes under my belt now and they're like original mixtapes that were dealing with you know the typical type stuff that any artist would do in their first couple of projects to talk about life and all that kind of stuff right and mm-hmm. so um i came to a point where i felt like i had to start making a break from what i was doing and since i just graduated from college like i just started getting into more um adult type themes i was talking about college before and so I decided I might as well start from a subject I hadn't touched before um, and go back to, I guess, a unique perspective on the 90s, being that I hadn't seen anybody quite do it before. And, I, and there's, so, there's so many um, R&B beats from that era that could have been just amazing hip-hop song. Mm. And um, people have been talking about it forever, like, oh, so-and-so beat, like, I would kill that on, our, on like, in, in rap in the hip-hop context. And so... I went through all those beats. I've always been a big Timberland fan, so he pops up a couple of times on the mixtape. And um, the various producers, beats that I've always wanted to go over, but it gave me a unique opportunity to take um, some of the best shows and the best cartoons and the best like quotes from movies and stuff like that yeah, and incorporate man. that to yeah. yeah, like incorporate that into the storytelling aspect of what I've been doing, and then bring a wave of nostalgia back for everybody who was born around the same time as me or earlier than me who grew up in the 90s. Yeah. So it was a unique opportunity. Yeah. It is, man. I, and, you know, I appreciate you, you doing that. It, it's one of those projects where it's timeless to me because it, it sticks with you. For, for one, like you said, if you grew up in the 90s, every yeah. record that's on here, you have some type of attachment to you know what I mean? Right. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, for me, I, I love the Creepin' record, you know, because I, I was a huge TLC fan. And just like you said, yeah. you know, I've always been a fan of hip-hop. And when I heard that record, I was like, man, somebody could easily rap over this. You know what I mean? And yeah. And you, you actually pulled it off. Um, the one thing, like, what was the idea? Uh, well, not necessarily the idea. I, I get it, the the artwork and the orange soda. You know, I, I, I grew up yeah. watching all of that. And you know, um, like, why why do that? Um, well, I, I figure uh, obviously anybody who uh, grew up through that era would, would see that someone immediately. You know, waves of nostalgia would come back. So going through all the pictures and the, all the memorabilia from the era, it, it, it presented itself as the obvious choice for what the cover should be. And you know, juxtaposing that with the fact that I named it Orange Soda, which is actually something from Kenny and Kel. Yeah. So taking Kenny and Kel and combining that with all that, and people who got it, people who grew up in that era would get it like immediately. Yeah. They'd be like, "Oh, oh snap, all that." Yeah. And instant. that's Orange Soda together, and yeah. It was definitely instant. Um, a- another standout record um, for me was the uh, Fresh Prince. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy that. You know, it's it's one thing about this this EP, man. It's like you were saying earlier. Not only did you pick the right beats for it, but the skits that went along with it, and they kind of stayed on topic. And I can really appreciate. Yeah. You know, I mean, you listen to the project, and you can tell that even though it's nine tracks, you really put your all into the project. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> and like for the the Fresh Prince record. And the the above the crew, and when you use some of the um, the skits from the above the rim or uh, and and juice and all that, I, I was just like, man, it's, it's one of those ideas where you know I get excited about it because I, I my background is actually in production, so when I see this, I'm like, man, you know, it's one of those things like, man, I should have thought about that, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's it's a great idea, dude. It's really a great idea. Um, as far as upcoming projects, is there anything else in the works that, that you're working on, or is this kind of like, you know, your main focus right now? 
Yeah, like, um, like pretty much all I do is work. Like, since I got out of college, I've been, I, I have, obviously, I have long-term career plans in the works, but I took I took enough time in between starting my career and um, me getting out of college to really buckle down and focus on music since mm -hmm. it became apparent in college that that was something that I could possibly exploit as, like, a... A, a career because my last mixtape um, was Broken Records Volume 2, the illustration. I was starting the series, and it was essentially full storytelling as well. Start to start to finish, that mixtape was completely just me telling stories about various things, things I've seen in life, things that other people have gone through, things I've gone through, stuff like that. So um, that one did pretty well. I, it, was, it was a free mixtape as well, but people were donating, people were really enthusiastic about it, people were like really into the art, the storytelling, the unique perspective I was bringing to the music. So um, it's, it's, it's really just uh, a work in progress. I like telling stories. I don't, I, I like that I'm different. Mm -hmm. I like that I have a different approach to how I make my music. And so I'm, I'm trying to keep that going. I'm, I'm, I'm doing more storytelling on my next project. Um, for now, the ones that are in the works are my, my, my third, I guess, full-length mixtape will be called Elevation. Um, and since the, the first two were like the motivation and the illustration, and this one, I'm not even making this part of the Broken Records series. I'm just calling it Elevation. And, of course, that has several meanings to it. I'm just trying to get to another level with every project I do, keep the quality up, keep it consistent, and reach, reach topics that people haven't touched in the way I touch them. Before. Yeah, that's important to me. It is, yeah, the originality is is everything to me, and creativity. Yeah, it, it, it's very important, especially as an artist, and and you know, in the field of hip hop and rap, because there are so many concepts and that's another thing dude I'm, I'm gonna ask you this after i say this but you know having the right concept on on um records is key you know you want to have something where people can relate to but at the same time you want to stand out and, and what i was going to say is the name like how did you come up with that name because it's, it's a dope name it's one of those things where every time i say your name i feel like i want to say no pun intended you know what i mean it's just like I, I you know your name is it's a dope name dude like how did you come up with that yeah, I actually, um, I wanted to, it's, it's the only thing, I wanted to keep a C at the beginning of my name because my real name is Cameron. Okay. So I, I wanted it to start with a C, but um, I was going through all kind of different names because, you know, coming, with a, coming up with a rap name is, is more difficult than people realize. Mm -hmm. We don't just, like, we don't just think of it and then just roll with it. Like, it has to, it, it has to last because I, I didn't plan on changing my name later. So, um... It actually reflects the type of music I make. I make music that goes past um, most of what I hear. Like most music is uh, a passing fad, or it's talking about um, things that don't have too much depth to them. And um, it, it seems like a lot of music I hear nowadays is not really planned out all that well, and mm -hmm. they don't take the time to actually make make lyricism count and make every line count. And I've, 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 I've like the one thing I can be proud about as an artist at the end of the day is that I don't waste beats and I don't waste any lines on my songs on nothing. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to just say something just because I need to fill up a bar or I need to fill up a line or or get this version done. Uh, so the, fa the fact that I name myself the concept is reminding myself on a daily basis that my songs need to be about something and need mm. to have an impact on people. So. That's dope, man. That's dope. I, I, you know, I appreciate that, man. Just, just a thank you as... As just a not not only as a producer but as a fan of music, I appreciate when someone that's in your position takes it amongst themselves to to push the culture forward. You know what I mean? So I, I really appreciate yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, and it's, it's a certain. I try not to be like I guess negative towards mm -hmm. other artists and other musicians. Like everybody has their own thing. Yeah. But for me, it's, I, I need to be pushing. I need to be doing something positive with my life if I'm going to be doing this type of this type of music and entering a entering a type of art form that so has such a powerful effect on other people it's yeah it, it, it's it's instrumental to actually do something with it and tell stories and touch people in some some form or fashion yeah definitely man um once again this is jay good of straight out the com. i'm on the line with the concept um from this project orange soda uh which is available for download right now um through your site and if you can go ahead and just give us your uh information so we can know how to find you uh definitely uh y'all can find me on facebook at facebook.com uh, slash the concept sound 
uh, pretty much the concept sound and everything. Soundcloud.com slash the concept sound. Twitter um, at the concept sound. And uh, my my project is available for download on my Bandcamp, uh, my official Bandcamp page at the concept sound at Bandcamp.com. Okay, cool. And now, from the project, are you planning to release any uh, visuals? I am. I am. I'm in the I'm in the works of trying to make a video for. Um, I haven't. I haven't quite chosen which thing we get i'm still in the process of choosing which oh, thing we we'll be used. <laughs> but yeah I, I, I might i might even be taking suggestions for which ones people want to see the most because so okay. far all i've done is make like you know still videos on youtube introducing the song yeah, yeah. but yeah i'm planning on at least making one full out visual for uh, at least one of the one of the standout tracks on the tape so i might be taking suggestions cool if, man if uh well i'm interested I'm going to put my bid in for Creepin' or either uh, Fresh Prince, man. I'm, you know, that's okay. just me. <laughs> that's just me, man. Okay, definitely. I'll definitely take note, bro. Yeah, no, no problem at all. Well, hey, man, I, I do appreciate you calling in. Um, one last thing before we go. I like to end these on a high note. Um, yeah. And so you as a rapper and as a lyricist, I would love if you can just grace us with a couple of bars, man. A couple of bars? <laughs> yeah. I definitely will see. Let's see, let's see. Um... I realized when I was younger, I was made to make music for the people. My voice come out of your eight oh eight, just make a break. Either these tracks get me on top of shit, or other niggas running the city like a monopolist. I'm dropping this heat wave, messy like eating cheesesteak. I don't need no visa. I done been in 33 states to replace. Catch me running back. I had enough of whack. Rappers getting money, the world stop when I touch a track. Cause this message is powerfully poetic. Pronunciation is crisp, phonetically prophetic. Shit ain't for everybody, cause most of y'all are pathetic. New generation, nobody from the 80s in my section. The time came for me to cease the mind games I'm taking it to the rack with a flourish for Brian James. I started from the bottom, that ain't just a blind claim. My lines is guillotining on some Ichabod crane. <laughs> hey, man, appreciate it, man. Once again, it's Jay Good at straightoutthedin.com. I'm on the line with the concept. Give us your uh, Twitter and uh, Facebook information one more time before we get out of here, man. All right, man. Y'all can find me at um, the Concept Sound on Twitter and on Facebook, Facebook.com. So that's the Concept Sound. I holler at y'all, man. All right, cool. Yeah.